Okay, so actually down to the business of actually practicing. Uh, I've been doing a lot with eight notes again against the clip. I love to leave the clip running and, and, and kind of use as many subdivisions as possible against the clip is, is quite a nice way to work. And you can do this on the pad or you can do it on the kit. So for instance, on a basic level, we might have eighth notes or quavers. Going up to triplets. Obviously, there's lots of different ways of doing these. The, the classic triplet exercise, the molar triplet exercise. Anyone familiar with the molar technique? Yeah. Okay, look it up, check it out. Very powerful snare drum technique. It's a great one for loosening up on the pad. So it's using accenting. Sixteenth notes will probably be the next logical uh, group up or semi quavers. And do practice these accented and non accented. And so, accents. Obviously, you've got all marks, accents, and stuff that you did earlier as well. Right hand lead, left hand lead. Get that left hand working as well. So there's three basic subdivisions. Now, going on a little bit further and, and developing this idea more, again, condensing our practice time. So trying to work on, um, on several things at once. Always be listening, always be watching. Mix up the, the, the paces a little bit. There's, there's other groupings that we can use, so for instance in 16th notes, we can still play 16ths, so 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, but try accenting in 3s. So it's not a triplet, the rhythm is 16th notes, but accenting in 3s going over the bar, or metric modulation. out of the metronome practice um, are things like um, go down to half notes don't feel that, you, that the quarter note is, is the slowest movement that you can that you can make go down to minims or half notes one of the hardest things you'll do is practice at that slow pace and drop that note exactly where you want it against the click But when you think in a practical sense, if you're playing, if you're playing a gig, there are going to be instances where you drop a note in space, and you think it'd be the easiest thing to do. But often you might you might feel this sometimes that when you try and place that note, it doesn't actually go quite where you want it to. Um, so actually anticipating the movement and picking that point so it sits dead on the clip. That's why it's worth going. Don't always go forwards in terms of pace. Go backwards as well. 